Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> I would, I promise I wouldn't be long myself, Mr. Speaker. I'm not feeling very well, as you can probably decipher from the sound of my voice. But, Mr. Speaker, when you listen to the member from Swazel, Swazel Saltibus, you would wonder whether he is a convert. You would wonder whether, as we say colloquially, he just come. Because I listened to him, Mr. Speaker, and some of the allegations he seemingly makes fall squarely in the laps of the former government and more so his leader. Mr. Speaker, one of the things I want to make clear, Ekmevle de Nia Gre Nia Kuyol, this borrowing today is no new money. This borrowing today, that intention was manifested ever since we had the budget debate. La jeune ou ka pwete jodi a le set li sien. Se pa la jeune Philippe Jepier jos deside i ka ale ache o kote. Depi ba jet la ki pase an avwi la ne sa la. Tout atasyon pou pwete la han pou finans ba jet la te ja a di dan an go liv. Ek jodi a Apwe poumye ministre le gouvernman fe tout sa yo te pe ek la jan nou te ka jwen lokali yo ka kwe recurrent revenue we now find the necessity to invoke the intention to borrow but from the 1st of April one must understand the financial year runs from April 1st to March 31st of every year. From April 1st to December 6th, this government has borrowed not one penny to finance this financial year. Not one penny. And when my friend from Swazel, when he asked Mr. Speaker, what is the borrowing for? I find this question hypocritical. I find, Mr. Speaker, that the member, in his political astuteness, a banker by profession, knows very well all the intentions and the source of financing had been laid in this big book of which he has a copy. Member of Castry Central. To be fair to the member for Suzel Saltibus, he didn't ask that question. What he said was he will not do as did the six when they were in opposition and decry borrowing. Instead, he would come and support borrowing, but would simply ask what it is for. But I didn't, I didn't get the impression he was asking about this borrowing. Very well, Mr. Speaker. But I'm saying in his political astuteness, and in the Prime Minister's presentation of the motion, he indicated that this borrowing is to finance the budget. The member for Swazel Saltibus and every parliamentarian prior to that debate in this Honorable House would have to be furnished with a copy of the estimates. That's true. Every member, and not only are you furnished with the potential expenditure or contemplated expenditure, the source of funding is within this Bible, if you want to call it that. The source of funding is in there. So c'est pas l'argent gouvernement just d'accord il ca aller acheter. Depuis mars la depuis mars avril, le budget l'a passé. La tenue comme bagay dat gouvernement te ha dako yo kay brise pwete la jan pou. Ek si ou e bagay te plime, nou pa ka men vini si a, men si nou te ha di, nou te kay pwete pou finans budget la. Now, Mr. Speaker, you see, sometimes you listen to politicians 
And my, friends were, my friend was eavesdropping earlier when he said that I say this takes a toll. But one of the things he admitted to me that the truth is what you believe. He echoed the sentiments of his leader telling me the truth is what he believes it to be. So I said to him, I asked him rather, if I believe he was a, a, of, of the female sex, would that be correct? And then he, he, he expressed surprise. So Mr. Speaker, sometimes when we speak, we have to know what we see. All of the intention is in, in, is in this book. The source of funding is in this book. So when you are saying you will not chastise the government, if you had to do so, you would have done so during the estimates, the, the debate on the estimates. What the last government used to do, Mr. Speaker, and I even asked the Prime Minister, why didn't he go that route? They used to lump up everything one time so that the motion for borrowing and the tabling of the estimates of revenue and expenditure would take place at the same time. So they would borrow $600 million the very time they are tabling the estimates of revenue and expenditure. Savle Dileset this year. Let United Workers Party government take a table budget. Tout la ha yo te ka pwete ya. Yo te ka fo bou yo ek hol bagay la. So le sa la ou pa sa même wè comme l'argent yo ka pwete ek tout ba la ka passe ka ikosit one time. This government has taken a different approach. This government is letting every citizen of this country know how exactly it is running the affairs of this country. And so, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister, in his wisdom and based on advice, decided he is not tabling the motion for borrowing simultaneously with the estimates of revenue and expenditure. And hence, we are here today to deal with a motion that is contained in all shapes and forms within the confines of the estimates that were tabled in this honorable house earlier this year. Now, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> I heard the member for Suzanne Saltibus saying that the government ought to treat its parliamentarian with dignity. And I, I, I agree with that. But I wonder, Mr. Speaker, where was he when his leader as Prime Minister stood in this honorable chamber and told opposition members that you had lost the right to speak? <laughs> where was he when the, the leader, his leader, and Prime Minister told members opposite that they had lost their voices? Where was he when the leader, ex-Prime Minister, told a St. Lucian citizen that you don't like my party. Where was he when he referred to St. Lucians as backing dogs? Where were you when he referred to us as mendicants? I don't listen. I let the jackasses breathe. Where were you? <laughs> were you there? <laughs> you were here. Were you there? And today, he preaches dignity. I don't have a problem with that. Welcome to the converted club. Because you seem to be a convert. Now, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister indicated that part of the funds would be used to pay lands acquired. And the member for Suzel Saltibus quite rightly said that government has to acquire land. And that is not a difficulty. That's not difficult to understand. Because the law empowers the government in pursuance 
of the discharge of its social responsibility to the people who elected it should do whatever is necessary to bring a certain degree of comfort to them. And in that regard, Mr. Speaker, you might need a public facility somewhere. Government has no land you acquire. You might need a footpath so that person's no longer walking mud you acquire. And he was right. But I am wondering, Mr. Speaker, where was he? Wasn't he in the cabinet when the government, the last government under the leadership of the member from Miku South decided to acquire Caribbean Jewels Hotel? Where were you? Knowing full well that government is not a hotelier and the hotel invariably will end up in private hands. Where were you? Where were you when the last government decided to acquire the lands at Shock, the swamp at Shock, the swamp at Shock? Where were you when the last government decided to acquire land to pass on to range developers? Range developers and further to that to give them concessionary financing using our CIP monies. When the Prime Minister then realized he could not have done it, you all came and changed the legislation. You all changed the legislation and we still had to pay a range $32 million. So where were you? Where were you, my friend? I know you were busy signing the DSH deal. Other than that, where were you? And so, you know, Mr. Speaker, it is that kind of hypocrisy. It is that kind of hypocrisy, according to a, firm, a famous speaker and writer down here. It is that kind of hypocrisy that I just cannot tolerate. Because all of the squandering, all of the squandering was being done whilst you were right there. How much are we borrowing today? 102. Let's say 280. Mr. Speaker, let me just give you about five, five egregious financial deals that cost us more than what we're borrowing here today. Five out of 22. <laughs> Local B. 32. Let's add from here. <laughs> Sanders Grand. 24 and 32. 56. So if we add those two, we don't have to borrow yet. Good. Bypass Road. How much? 15. 15 million. Where are we at now? Where are we now? 65. 71. 71. Permandu, 13 million. That's what? 84. 84. Rain settlement, 32 million. How much is that? 106. 106. <laughs> That's why in and view for it. I would put it higher. 1 million. <laughs> Where we are now? 117. 112 million for horses. Where are we? Tell me where we are, please. They're traveling at 2,000 pounds a night in the hotel. Let's just say 1 million. Ernst <laughs> Young, 50 million, where we are now? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, 279. 279 million dollars, and I've not gone through the list, which I will make available to all my colleagues. So had this man done what he had to do with any degree of prudence today, would have had this money and there was, would have been no need to borrow any money put, to put any kind of financial pressure on the, on the public. Mr. Speaker, I thank you.